I also finished reading Foundation. I was co-reading that with a teacher that I work with. I, I have the first three books in one volume here in this Barnes & Noble edition, which is just a beautiful edition. I love this. It has a really nice uh, end paper in here, which is um, a photo from NASA. I've already let that teacher borrow that book so he could finish reading it. He had originally borrowed a digital copy of it and that got taken off his device. And so now he's just reading the physical copy. So he's borrowing my book to finish reading that. I, I enjoyed Foundation. I don't think everybody has enjoyed Foundation. It's a quick read. I just think Section 3 is fantastic so well written i i love the way three just comes together uh there's there's another part later in the story in one of the later sections that comes together well too but i just think section three is phenomenal i don't know if you want to call that chapter three maybe maybe that's what is properly uh you can definitely at least i feel that i can see where Foundation influenced Dune. I feel that Foundation influenced Star Trek. I feel that Foundation influenced Star Wars. Uh, I feel that Dune influenced Star Wars as well. Uh, so it's kind of interesting to see how the, the sci-fi progressively has influence on future sci-fi. So Foundation was the earlier one. I think Dune comes next and then Star Trek and then Star Wars as we progress through uh, real time. A real timeline but I enjoyed it it's nice to start the story out with two mathematicians as the main characters it's fun for me to find fictional stories with mathematicians as the lead characters I am currently listening to the audiobook of the quantum thief which I came across I think because I saw a title of another book in the series, which led me to the first book in the series, and they have mathematics type titles. The author's name is Hanu Rajanimi. That might not be pronounced quite right, but I'm trying. I just found out if you go to Goodreads, you can see a biography in both English and Finnish. He is a Finnish author who lives in Scotland, and he has a bachelor's degree and a doctorate in mathematics, also a graduate certificate, it looks like, in mathematics, and he is founder of Think Tank Maths. So this is, this is definitely my kind of guy. He's a mathematician, and he's writing this uh, science fiction I probably trilogy. I think there's three books in this series. It has been interesting. He definitely creates an alien world that has kept me off balance. I'm hoping that I'm starting to get along with part of it. Sometimes science fiction is a uh, alien world, but you start to get acclimated to it. I haven't acclimated as fast as I would have hoped to the story. But it has some interesting aspects to it. It it almost feels like the virtual world and the real world interact somewhat cohesively together. They use some computer type scientific ideas together in the story, but while also being uh, fictional with that as well. So the idea of public key encryption is a big idea in the story. And they do use something of that phrase, but they ha there's an in-world uh, phrase or term that's used for that as well. So knowing what that is, I think, kind of helps with understanding what's going on.